Yo, what is up guys? It's the Ghost Hacker here, and I am back for another bucket plugin coding video, or whatever you want to call this. And um oops, sorry about that. And um today we're gonna be doing episode two, and today we're gonna be covering commands, basic commands, the pl uh plugin.yml, and how to export your plugins so you can test them and make sure everything everything's all working so far. Um, quickly I want to say I'm sorry that like I kind of like disappeared for a little bit. I was a little bit busy, well, a lot a bit busy. <laughs> um, I've been working on a lot of stuff lately, a lot of projects, and I actually work on a secret project that, um, you should see soon. I'm not, I'm not too, too sure how soon you'll see that, but, um, secret project coming up. And, um, yeah, before we start, I just want to quickly say... Um, if you have any questions or need any help or anything like that, go to my website. You can contact me on there or you can contact me on Twitter. I open up a Twitter for this uh, YouTube. It's just at the ghost hacker. And um, now that I'm done advertising pretty much, <laughs> um, we can start. Okay, so we're going to start off with the basic commands. So we're going to have to type in public boolean. BTW, I have not coded bucket plugins for a long time. It, like a week or two so if I screw up not my fault on command and we're gonna do a little brackets then command sender space sender comma command space cmd comma string space com oh, command Oh, that's not capital L. Label. Don't, don't think that's capital L. <laughs> String. We're gonna do a little square brackets right there. And now, Uggs. We're gonna leave that and we're gonna open it up. Okay. Now we are here. We're gonna type in if bracket. Then we're gonna do cmd dot get name put a little brackets right there go outside the brackets but dot ignore case you can just click this one right here double click it then in here put a little quotes and type in what you want the command to be so slash whatever is in this quotes I'm gonna do hello and you don't have to do the right capitals because it does not matter it says ignore but, um, ignore case Alright, so now, um, yeah, yeah, that's good. So we're going to go outside of these brackets, and we're just going to open it up one more time. Now, quickly, we're going to have to fix some stuff. We're going to have to import this. Uh, okay, capital C on this way. Now, a lot of stuff will break, but don't worry. Okay. Down here we need to type in return false. Oops. Semicolon. Change method variable. Oh, did I accidentally Did I accidentally type public on? Yes. Yes I did. Oops. Okay. That that fixed it all. I just accidentally made a little bit of a mistake there. Um, if any of that comes up as errors, just hover over it and it should say like import or change to or something like that. So just try to figure it out guys. It's not that hard. Alright, so that's all good. I'm sure that I made a little bit of a mistake that I actually typed public wrong. Um, or at least I believe I did. Now we're going to do a basic thing. Basic command. Okay, before we can do that we're going to type player space player with a capital P equals brackets player and then sender semicolon and I believe am I doing this wrong just I always get this mixed up every single time I'm I get this mixed up every single time 
Okay, one second. I'm gonna go actually get the correct way because I forget, and I'll be right back. Oh, wait, never mind. I actually did have it right. I just, I, I don't know. It just came up as an error for a little bit, but when I stopped recording, it decided to work. I, I don't know. Um, it shows up as like a yellow warning right now, but the only reason why it's doing that is because we are not using player yet. So if we just uh, type in player dot, and now a bunch of different stuff will show up. Like you could do potion effects, you could do get health, get inventory. Um, you can like do max health and everything. But we're gonna do player dot send message we're gonna do this one right here all right now in here we're gonna put a little quote and now let's type in our message so we're gonna do hello back to you <laughs> i don't know i'm just going with it whatever all right so that's finished the uh, that's the command done i know it's not that hard um if you want it so you do not have to put in um if like if you want to make it so you don't get to do this in console you can only do it in game just go here and type in and 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 then instance or actually sender um let's see if i can spell this correctly in uh that's it i don't remember how to spell this instance of yeah i got it right i think <laughs> player Okay, so that will make it so only players in game can do it and not in console. Alright, um, now we're gonna go over the plugin.yml. I can close that. Um, we're gonna go over the plugin.yml, and after that, we will export the plugin and we will take a little test ride of it. Or whatever, we'll test it out. <laughs> so, um, just a second, I'm gonna get that all prepared and ready, and uh, we shall do that. Alright guys, I am back and now we are going to do the plugin.yml. Alright, so to do this, we're going to go to our little package right here, open it up, expand it. Then right click on the main folder, go to new, and go to file. Now name this plugin.yml. Name it exactly like that. Um, actually, what's going on here? Um... Oh, okay, because I tried to record this before. Like, I, I tried to record this, but then I realized I didn't record it, so I need to just delete this. I'll, um, <laughs> redo that. Alright, so new, and then file, and just plugin.yml. There we go. Now finish. Alright. Oh, it opened up on my... It opened up a Notepad Plus Plus on my other monitor. Uh, let me just let me just do this. There we go. All right. So I recorded this part already, and it screwed up. So I'm just gonna copy and paste it because I don't feel like typing it all over again. And but um, I'll teach you how to do it. So at the top, you're gonna type in the name of the plugin, and then for main, you're gonna type in me dot the ghost hacker dot. Well, don't put it actually this, but like. Type in what yours is. So mine is in here main, or well the main is me dot the ghost hacker, just right here too, and then dot my plugin, just like this. See how it matches up? Okay. Version, you could just put whatever. It's the first one, so I'm putting 1.0. Command, you type in what you typed in right here. And the description, I just put say hello back. And just leave this like this that's fine and if we did everything correctly which I believe we did we can export this and it shall work perfectly fine okay guys now we're back and we are gonna export the plugin this is the plugin.yml by the way guys I will probably paste this in the description or somewhere else because this is a very picky file you have to have it exactly right or it will just completely break everything and um yeah so if if your plugin does not show up in your in your server it's most likely your plugin.yml so just mess with that um so that's the plugin.yml that's how it should look and um if you got no errors in your code they'll show up down here like i'll just make an error so you can see 
Um, oops, sorry. Apparently that's not an arrow. <laughs> I'll do that. There, you'll, sh you'll show up right here, actually. I thought they showed up down there, but they don't, apparently. Um, so yeah, just make sure you don't got no arrows, and you will be fine. Oh, I put that on the wrong side. Okay, there we go. So now we're going to export it, so just make sure you save everything by hitting Control S. And click on this, and click Refresh, or click actually F5 to refresh it, or you can right click and click Refresh, I believe. Yeah, there you go. So now we're going to right click on it, and click Export. Click um, Java, and then Java File, click Next. Select your plugin, and then select where you want it to export to. I'm going to export it to my server folder because, well my server pl plugin folder because that's where it needs to be. And then just click finish. And now that's done. So I'm going to minimize that and I am going to go to where my server is located. In here. And if we go into the plugins folder, there it is. Now I'm going to start up my server. And if all goes well and we did not make any mistakes, we should be good. And it seems to have went well. <laughs> yes, it has. Look, enabling my plugin, and then plugin is working. There we go. Now, if we just quickly join the server. Oops. I accidentally press cancel. Okay. <laughs> For real. <laughs> that's not because the plugin. That's just because me being dumb. I accidentally press cancel and tried to join too fast and blah blah blah. All right. So if we type pl or type slash plugin, we shall. Okay, well, apparently, slash plugin don't work. Whatever. <laughs> For what? <laughs> I don't get that. Whatever. Um, not the point. Okay, so my plugin shows up right there. And if we type slash hello, it should say hello back to you. And it shows you what you typed in. That's just because in here, we put this to false. We should have put it to true. Um,. I don't know why it took so long to type true. So we could just save that. Oops. Save that. Refresh it. And export it. And yes, we want to overwrite it. Now if we just reload. Slash hello. There we go. It's fixed. Alright, so that's the basic command. Now, next episode I think I'm going to be covering like some, some of the more complicated commands like some of the things that you could do with player oh what 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 whatever I'm not gonna question it why can I not type Jesus <laughs> okay player dot and then you got all of these we'll cover probably not all of them because there's like a billion of them but next episode we're gonna cover hopefully a few of them so, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any errors or any problems, go to my website and check out the um, contact page. I will probably put a picture on screen right now so you can see what it looks like. I will link the website below. You can go check that out. You can go check me out on Twitter and ask me there. And, um, yeah, guys. And if you guys did enjoy the video, it would be very appreciated if you can go ahead and leave me a like. And maybe a comment if you want. And um, if you want to see more tutorials and more coding stuff, you can subscribe. And that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, leave a like. And until next time, guys, bye-bye.